Hello, my name is Nikki Hoyt. I'm an occupational therapy assistant student at Kennebec Valley Community College. Thanks so much for stopping in to take a look at my project. So my peers and I were asked to research a niche of occupational therapy that we felt was particularly interesting to us and to come up with a marketing idea that we felt might be beneficial to the field of occupational therapy. So I took a look at nature-based occupational therapy, um, looking at building day group activities for at-risk children and adolescents. From my research, nature-based occupational therapy was defined by utilizing benefits of nature settings within the scope of occupational therapy practice, with nature settings being defined as outdoor environments that retain their uncultivated features and have been relatively untouched by human development, including buildings. We all know the therapeutic benefits of nature. We know that it can increase attention. It has the potential to decrease depression and aggression. It can have improvements in physical activity, academic performance, and social and cognitive development. And nature also provides an, an environment that's engaging, motivation, uh, motivating, and provides opportunities for graded and responsive multisensory input. I want to target at-risk children and adolescents because we know that children and adolescents who have experienced early adversity may have unique challenges such as sensory discrimination, praxis, sensory modulation, and insecure attachments. We also know that they're at a higher risk for developing anxiety and depression and substance abuse disorder as well as heart disease later on in life. We can look at children who have been in the foster care system. We can look at occupational justice and ensuring that these children are exposed to play and leisure activity and given the chance to explore and to participate in these activities. So my idea is that an occupational therapy assistant or occupational therapy assistants can lead full day nature-based activity groups, focusing on individual and occupational therapy goals. The idea is that they would do this on a volunteer basis. They would have a supervising occupational therapist who would ideally be based out of a practice environment that can screen for, um, for at-risk children and adolescents who may have who may benefit and have goals that overlap with the group goals so schools outpatient clinics welfare agencies private practice and nonprofits. ideally the occupational therapy assistant and the occupational therapist will collaborate to determine which individuals would most benefit and to come up with activities and interventions they feel would be most effective the occupational therapy assistant would be responsible for community outreach. They would talk to, talk to different recreational groups, organizations, and individuals who are passionate about their leisure of choice and who could either provide a setting or a location to, to do the activity or who could um, provide their time and expertise. There could be activities such as mountain biking, canoeing, kayaking, surfing, hiking, snowshoeing, cross-country skiing. Maine has an abundance of natural features and access to recreational opportunities. It's just brimming with occupational therapy potential that I feel that we really could tap into. The occupational therapy goals that we could look at would be play and leisure exploration and participation fine and gross motor skills, social emotional skills, attention, problem solving, decision making, self esteem and mental health. We could look at sensory modulation, sensory discrimination, praxis, adaptive behaviors and sensory seeking strategies. I thought it was a really fun idea. I think it could have a lot of potential to help children for early intervention. And I would love to answer any questions or 
um, to hear from anybody who might do anything similar to this, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, my contact information is at the bottom of the screen here on my poster. It'll also be on the handout that I provided when I um, submitted my project to the conference. So please don't hesitate to reach out to me and, and thank you again for stopping in and, and taking a look at my presentation. I hope you enjoy the conference.